Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. Hope you're enjoying your life. Not who's, wow, I'm already messing it up. The sign is right there. People are saying that it's not upside, that's just upside down. I'm not sure how it being upside down changes the colors of the letters. It doesn't, okay? We're not, it's, it's messed up still. You know what else is messed up? You not having a fresh shirt like this, which is today's video sponsor. Our merch has dropped. We've got new merch designs. You can check them out at the link in the video description. You got your CPU blowout, hard drive blowout, a bunch of other things that you can check out at the link in the video description. Get yourself repping some UFD tech, good stuff. It doesn't have our logo on it. It's just nice tech merch, okay? Check it out. Anyways, let's jump on into the hot news for today, which is we've got some Intel news. Yes, because the i7 10700F, 10700F, how do we say this? The name's dumb. The, the, the 10 series is just ridiculous to talk about. Anyways, there's a Cinebench benchmark that has been leaked out on a Korean tech forum showing that it is basically 10700F would be eight core, 16 threads. It's basically a 3700X. So we're getting from Intel what AMD are already released in July of last year. And whether or not this is gonna be worth picking up, well, people probably have already transitioned to Ryzen 3000. And then secondly, I don't see Intel undercutting AMD's price of $329 here. So especially considering the fact that this is the i7-10700F, which is the non-integrated GPU version of their CPUs, which means the 10700K, which is gonna have an integrated graphics card in it, likely will cost more than this benchmark thing right here, even though they're gonna perform about the same. I'm expecting that we'll see a price point about $350 to $400, considering Intel doesn't know how to price themselves in a given market because they're used to being the top dogs and they're not used to being the underdog, which means that they would actually have to price competitively, but they're not gonna do that because they're Intel. Although there's been previous indications that Intel would indeed try to slash their prices in order to compete with AMD. I'm skeptical, okay? I'm skeptical until they're real, especially since we were supposed to have these chips a while ago already. Apparently because they draw so much power, motherboard manufacturers couldn't have motherboards ready for it, which means that it's just, it's just taking too long but the leaks are coming fast and furious now because there's also a picture of the 10D900, not the K version, but just the regular version, which is gonna be a 10 core, 20 thread CPU with a 125 watt TDP for the K version, 65 watts for this non-K version because it's gonna have a 2.5 gigahertz base clock or 2.8 because the chip says 2.5, but the chip is actually 2.8. You'll, you'll see, like the label says 2.5, but the label's wrong. What? like what they printed on there. Anyways, it's gonna be on the LGA 1200 socket and we'll have to wait for performance benchmarks to come out or leak out in the coming future. But be quiet isn't gonna be quiet about the fact that there is indeed a new Intel socket coming because their Shadow Rock 3 manual indicates that it supports the LGA 1200 socket, which has not been announced by anybody, doesn't technically exist, but confirms all of the rumors and speculation that has been coming out recently. So there is indeed a new Intel socket coming and we can likely uh, just assume the fact that the 10D900K, the 10D700 is going to be on the LGA 1200 as has been previously indicated. What was previously indicated last week, but I didn't report on it just because we didn't do hot news last week, is the fact that Intel is going to be laying off 129 employees in its Santa Clara headquarters from its data platforms group. It's doing some restructuring in its data center group, which means that they're going to have to lay off hundreds of people in this 129 first person round is just the beginning of what Intel is going to be doing. Not because they're not making money, because if you look at their earnings, their AI and data center stuff is, is what's basically earning them all of their increased cash flow, but it's because of restructuring. They don't need that many employees to continue earning the same amount of money. And then the last little bit of Intel news is the fact that they are officially announcing the Horse Ridge, which they've already technically announced. It's the world's first cryogenic quantum computing control chip, which allows them to take other quantum computers and then fuse them together to make an awesome, spectacular quantum computer. Each Horse Ridge SOC is capable of handing up to 128 qubit quantum computers and fusing them together into some uh, Gogeta or Vegito-like Super Saiyan computer that I don't even know how to process how amazing it's gonna be. But let's get out of the realm of science fiction because we know, all know quantum mechanics is just completely made up and no, the points don't matter. It's just, it's just whose line is it anyways with computers. Well, let's talk about a real computer, which is the new Cray Shasta supercomputer for the US Navy has been officially confirmed to have AMD Epic CPUs going into it. And it's gonna have a total of 290,304 AMD Epic cores. 290,000 cores, Reese. That's a lot. Is that, is that all you have? 
Yeah, no, I'm trying to think of what I would do with all that. <laughs> you could make so many cereals. It's also gonna have 112 NVIDIA Volta V100 GPUs, as well as 590 terabytes of memory and 14 petabytes of usable storage and one petabyte of NVMe storage. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Of, it's, it's coming out sometime in 2021. Whew. Good job, AMD. And then good job to Kickstarter if you're pro-union. If not, just listen to the story anyways, because Kickstarter workers have finally voted to unionize within their organization. With the vote going 46 pro-unionization and 37 against, they are officially going to become a union, even though the CEO has said that the dynamic doesn't really reflect who we are as a company, how we interact, how we make decisions, or where we need to go. We believe that in many ways it would set us back and that the us versus them binary already has. So the union is not necessarily being supported by the CEO, of which many union watchdogs are just like, that's bad, stop that, be pro-union. But a lot of people are anti-union, a lot of people are pro-union, a lot of people would want more unions out there, especially for Walmart workers. Did you know that Walmart, if they hear you're talking about a union, they'll come spy you down and fire you? Seriously? Yeah, they'll find a reason to fire you and get rid of you. There was an entire documentary on it, obviously it could be made up, but yeah, Walmart doesn't like the talk of unions. So if you work at Walmart and you're trying to unionize, they'll fire you for the littlest thing. I mean, like everything in South Africa is unionized. Yeah, they, they like fly in their anti-union guy to like then do private investigation crap about how you suck as an employee. It's intense. That could all be speculation and rumor here saying and not necessarily true and I'm not defaming Walmart in any way shape or form. I'm just saying things. I'm gonna say that there's a new Nintendo Direct, which people have been waiting for forever, but it's gonna be based on Animal Crossing, which we already have all of the details about. So why is there a Nintendo Direct happening about it? People aren't quite sure, but this might necessarily have something to do with PAX East, in which case they're supposed to be showing off some new games, but they haven't released the games list, which Nintendo usually does the weeks before PAX East. So having this happening today means that they could potentially be announcing new games so that Nintendo can finally release the game lineup for Paxis for people to demo. Are you on TikTok? Well, good, the Chinese government has all of your data now, but in case you, that's not enough to keep you away, well, finally, you can manage your teenagers on TikTok because they now have a family safety mode which allows parents to connect their TikTok account to their kids' TikTok account and make sure that they're not on it too much and disable direct messaging and make sure that the kids are safe on the platform. In which case, there's one comment on this article saying, well, that should effectively kill its popularity with teens. Nay, my friend, that just means that there's gonna be a ton of fake accounts that they rarely ever use and they're gonna have the real account on another setup and their parents are never gonna find it. This is easy. This is, people were doing this with Facebook when you have to have a real name. They were creating fake personas so that they could keep them away from their parents and just have their own app. It's not gonna kill anybody's popularity. Except for Blue Apron killed its own popularity. Yes, the uh, meal delivery service, which was all the rage in YouTube sponsorships, has apparently been considering selling itself because apparently their memberships are down 37% in a year, going from 557,000 subscribers subscriptions down to 351,000. So they're not doing so hot. This probably is directly coinciding with the fact that I don't see them sponsoring any more YouTube videos. Blue Airpit, come on, hit us up. We'll get you some more subscriptions. It'll be pretty good. Apparently, not only are they decreasing its uh, subscriptions, but also the cost per user isn't going up or the price per user. So they're not necessarily making any more money whatsoever. And they're looking to potentially sell themselves or eventually what's probably gonna happen is nobody's gonna wanna buy it and it's gonna die there you go, bye-bye, meal delivery services. Obviously, that's gonna get them to sponsor us, me talking about how they're inevitably just going to pass away. And honestly, I haven't seen them anywhere in the last like year or so. Yeah. HelloFresh is doing some more sponsorships, but not Blue Apron. So that's, gotta keep up with the times. YouTube was your bread and butter. Keeping up with the times, Hasbro is finally releasing some Nerf guns that are Halo themed. Yes! You're gonna be able to get a Needler, an MA-40, as well as other guns that you can shoot that are in the shape of Halo guns. This is anticipated to be launched on October 1st, hopefully coinciding with the release date of Halo Inf Infinite, and then also the Xbox Series X, so you can have all of the guns and shoot your TVs. And then quickly talking about some Xbox Series X news, it's been confirmed that it will have dedicated audio hardware acceleration, which Sony has already confirmed for the PlayStation 5. Mark Cerny, when he did the interview with Wired already confirmed this, so Xbox is now coming out saying we're gonna have dedicated hardware acceleration. And what's been accelerated is the death of GTA 4 because, in case you remember, it actually had to be pulled from Steam because it was based on Windows for Live, which went dead, and so you couldn't actually use it anymore. Well, it's been confirmed that it's coming back to Steam on March 19th, sans 
multiplayer component. So you won't actually be able to use the multiplayer because the platform for it is completely gone, but it'll be back and it's going to be called the Grand Theft Auto 4 Complete Edition and games for Windows Live has been completely removed. But I doubt a lot of people are using the multiplayer component of GTA 4. Everybody's kind of switched over to GTA 5 and role playing on that kind of stuff. So that's good. Reese, do you ever take nudes? What? I'm so sorry. I probably shouldn't <laughs> be asking you that. Well, if I gave you this phone, you wouldn't be able to because the Tone E20 out of Japan is using AI to block children from taking nude selfies and sending them off to people and can alert their parents that they tried to do that. Hectic. Hectic stuff. World? I'm so sorry. Or it could be potentially used for people who just have a nasty habit of taking nudes when they're drunk and it could stop them from actually doing that or regretting things that they otherwise shouldn't be sending to people. It should have a drunk mode. It's okay. like a slider. I mean, young children are just basically drunk people. Exactly. <laughs> Woo! Did you know that every device in your house is always listening to you? Did you know that, Reese? And that when you say, Alexa, set an alarm for 69 days from now, that it's not listening to you then, it's responding to you then. Isn't that crazy? Well, researchers out of the University of Chicago have created a wristband with tons of ultrasonic speakers that blast signals out to the open world to make sure that nobody can listen to you because it creates interference and then it's all like this. And the reason they did it as a wristband and not as a standalone device is because when you send out those sound waves and they hit each other, they can create dead zones where microphones can still listen to you. But when you're moving your arm just slightly, just standing there being a human, it can cr help eliminate those dead zones because you're sending the sound waves out in different directions. So now, Alexa, please set an alarm for 420 days from now. Well, that's not going to happen if you're wearing this wristband. They also put some information out on GitHub so that you can download the information and you can also potentially 3D print your own bracelet in case you don't want. Hey, Google, set an alarm to punch myself in the face in case you don't want that happening. If you're wearing the wristband right now, it wouldn't have been working. Wouldn't have to punch yourself. Wouldn't have to. And I won't have to talk anymore because this is the end of the episode of Hot News. Don't forget to check out our merch. I love this CPU shirt. We have a colorful one like this, but then we also have one in the like standard forest green PCB design that you could also pick up. Check that out at the link in the video description. Let us know what you thought of each and every article from Hot News today. Uh, and I'm going to be done. Thank you so much for watching Not Who's. I'll check you in the next one. Bye.